This is pediatric tooth decay in a lower right first primary molar that we're going to fix. We're going to begin anesthetizing the tooth with 1 in 200 articane, and this patient did fantastic with the freezing. Once we've waited a few minutes for the freezing to settle in, we're going to go in with a medium round diamond on a high speed handpiece and add an occlusal dovetail as a retentive feature to prevent the filling from debonding. And then we're going to go in and remove the tooth decay with a small carbide burr on a slow speed handpiece, being careful that we don't reduce too close to the nerve to prevent pulp exposure, but ensuring that we have clean DEJ margins. And we're mostly satisfied here. We're going to open up the interproximal contacts. Pediatric teeth are always a little bit more technically challenging to work on because the smaller size and the behavior management component, but this patient did great. You can open up the buccal contact with a carbide flame. And then once we can see daylight between the teeth, we're going to matrix with a tophamar band. And sometimes I'll use a pediatric sectional and a wedge, but in this case we just cinch down a tophamar band. And then we're going to restore the tooth with Fuji 2 light cure material. I'm going to etch the tooth for five seconds, rinse thoroughly, and then mostly dry. And then we're going to apply our glass ion armor material. I always overfill the cavity with glass based restorations and then ensure tight adaptation by compacting the material with a moist cotton pellet light cure the material to set it, remove our Toffelmeyer band and then begin removing the excess restorative material with a large round diamond. And this is always a rewarding type of case to do because this is a cavity that the patient was complaining of sweet sensitivity and temperature hypersensitivity. But with a restoration like this we can be almost certain that the tooth is going to be symptom free until it exfoliates. Going to reduce the filling material until we're back on the natural margin, check the bite, remove some excess flash here, and then apply our varnish material, Equia Coat. And the patient was referred to orthodontist for space maintenance of the missing E. Going to light cure our varnish material, and that's a wrap.